hey what's up guys welcome back to another video the new update for backpack battles was just dropped and i just wanted to make a quick video on it just to showcase all the items and like kind of just just go through what i feel what, what these items mean um now i haven't looked at everything but we haven't gotten an item update for backpack battles in a while and the game has been kind of you know a little bit stale so this is going to be huge because they added a nice amount of items and this is definitely going to be changing the meta It's definitely going to be changing the way that people play um and i think it's gonna really create some really interesting and cool builds for everyone to try out so yeah let's uh let's let's look at them all so they added a few amulets like you see up here um they added a few amulets it seems um a new weapon here item here um and and yeah so we're gonna cover the amulets first um, I guess with this one, we got the Amulet of Feasting, which food triggers 35% faster. And when you buy a food, it restarts with a random food. So this, how do you get this? How do you get this? I actually don't even know how to, okay. So it's gated by that Amulet, right? Which I'm assuming, okay. So you just buy this. So this is like the, the box of jewels, right? Or the death of cards where you buy this item and then you have access to all the other items, right? That makes sense. So this seems nasty okay this is this is gonna pair well with like an excalibur build right because food trigger 35 percent faster which is gonna be insane for pyromancer chili blueberry build because all the, it's just gonna keep getting faster. everything is just gonna keep getting faster for all those chilies and when you buy a food you restock with another food so it's like it's a food build bro it's an excalibur build like this just goes straight into excalibur very well that is insane and you can also see the star it's got a lot of star slots one two three four four separate rows of star slots jesus it's kind of it's like the bird it's got more star slots than the bird does jesus that's wow okay that's the thing very interesting really cool though 35 percent faster my question is can you have more than one of these like can i you know how you can have more than one blue jewel right or the badges on uh on berserker you can have more than one of those right can i have more than one amulet of feasting and just get 100 percent faster food and every time i buy food i get three more i wonder how that works i actually wonder how that works um the next one we got is the amulet of energy which the start item triggers 100 percent faster for one second and whenever a buff is used it refunds 20 percent of the used buffs wow okay okay i think the big thing here is the refunding of the buff right i don't think the big thing here i mean maybe i'm wrong but i don't think the big thing here is the uh the star item triggers are 100 faster for one second because it's only one second right but the fact that you can refund buffs now is insane how would you even use this like i like interesting how would you even use this i guess it's uh i guess items that use buffs realistically right no shit but like i guess like mana thirds i'm not gaining though so i guess like magic torch right this uses up one mana which is about so you use one mana you get 20 percent of that one mana back or something maybe it's better to be used on things that use like a lot of mana at one time kind of like the mana orb or the glowing crown or you know the other iterations of the glowing crown with the goober and, and such um that is really interesting though that's really really maybe even just a dejan lamp right because this is uses low at like three different buffs you get 20 percent of that back and if that's the case what if you stack these can you stack these and refund a hundred percent of the buffs used and just keep <laughs> and just keep triggering it over and over imagine you have five of these bro and you trigger this once you get 30 mana back it triggers again you get another 30 and it triggers again like how does that work you know what i mean there's no way that's a thing that will be way too overpowered no you there they have to make it where you can only get one of these because there's no way but then again at the same time when it comes to the box of jewels or the deck of cards or the 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 item the class item that berserker has that gives you the the badges you can have more than one badge and more than one jewel and more than one card so like can you have more than one of these and if you can that's kind of overpowered no because i could just get five of these uh, granted it's probably not going to be that easy but you could get like a lot of these and just start refunding the buffs that you you use with all of your buffed items which just makes them trigger so much easier so much easier i don't see a downside to this it just be so much easier um next one is the amulet of the wild which triggers the star pet Okay, after five seconds, sorry. After five seconds, triggers the star pet and gain five or three spikes. And it maximizes the damage dealt by spikes against melee and ranged attacks.
last time I checked, ranged attacks were immune to spikes. So, does this make it where ranged attacks actually get affected by spikes now? By 25%? That's interesting. That's interesting, but it's also like really, really cool. So in, in, it enables your spikes to affect people that have ranged weapons. I wonder if, where's the magic staff here? Cause this, okay, so that says, okay, I was, okay. So that's, okay, interesting. Cause this will be considered a ranged weapon, right? Interesting, interesting. I don't think the, the I mean, I don't think the pet trigger star is the big thing here. Unless you, I guess you would just put it on a goober. Right, that's like the best thing to like trigger after five seconds is like a goober proc. Um, but wow, okay. I guess the big thing for that one is just it enables ranged attacks to start being affected by spikes. Granted, it's only 25%, right? But like, that's still kind of a big deal, right? That's, I, I don't know. I don't think it's as crazy as the other ones, but I mean, that's that's pretty interesting making it where ranged attacks uh, are now affected by spikes if you have this jewel. I think that's really dope. I think that's really, really dope. Especially if you have a build that has like a shit ton of spikes. You know what I mean? I think that's really cool. And then we got the Amulet of Alchemy. Start of the battle, gaining three random buffs. Okay. Potion, star Potion consumed 35%, 35% chance to activate its effects again after three seconds. Whoa. Okay. That is very, very interesting. This gives me like old potion belt builds right here man demo version potion belt right here if you guys didn't know demo version potion belt I, I forgot the exacts but whenever a potion was consumed there was a chance or i think a guaranteed chance or something like that of the potion being consumed again which made potion builds like crazy there was a build where you would just stack on like a bunch of armor and then it was a fatigue build you just stack on a bunch of armor and then your opponent wasn't going to be able to kill you because you had like thousands of armor and then they just died to fatigue. This is interesting though. The fact that it, I think the, the fact that it triggers again after three seconds, it's like the big, like, oh, don't make it too overpowered type deal, you know? But yeah, that is really, 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 really cool. And there's a lot of star slots too. So they made that, they made sure, they made sure you had enough room. Interesting. Interesting. If you have a lot of potions, that's gonna get kind of crazy really fast. I can see this on like a um, a potion bomb, potion bomb, dark saber type build, right? Cause it's just gonna keep on consuming the, the potions, the, the poison potions, which if one procs, the one above it procs. And if the one above it procs, does that one also get a 35% chance to proc again? Like, how does that work? You know what I mean? You, you guys know, so it's like, oh, you have a 35% chance to proc. Oh, I proc, that means I'm gonna automatically proc the potion that's above me, oh. It procced 35% chance to get like, how does, does it just keep on going? You know what I mean? That's really interesting. It'd be pretty dope if it just kept it kind of overpowered, but it'd be pretty cool if it just kept on going. You know what I mean? Just kept on going, right? Interesting. Actually, no, look at the description of this. It says after being consumed also applies the effect of the potion without consuming it. So it doesn't actually consume the potion at the top. It just applies the effect of it, which means more than likely since this says potion consumed, it's not going to do what I just said it was going to do or, you know, but still, it's still pretty cool though. It's still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool. I like that. Amulet of life gain 20 maximum health or sorry, same thing, same thing. Gain 20 maximum life. Why didn't they just say health? What? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, right here it says health. Right? Because you gain four mana and 15 maximum health, but right here it just says 20 maximum life. Same difference. Uh, your healing is increased by 20%. This, this is going to go crazy on uh, Reapers. This is going to go crazy with Reapers and the uh, Nocturnal Locklifter, how you already have like that increase in health plus the Vampirism. Slap this on there, boom, 20%. Easy. Lots of it, bro. This is going to go hand in hand on a Reaper. Honestly, it's going to. And if you can stack this, my question is, can you stack these? Can I get 100% amplified healing, which is having five of these? Like, the, I, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. I don't know. But something's telling me you're going to be able to stack these. I got to test it out and see. I got to test it out and see. And then we got the Amulet of Steel, which at the start of battle, you get 20 block. Okay. Star items. You gain 40 block, gain one empowerment. 
Interesting. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Interesting. What's the fastest way to gaining the most amount of block possible? Wait, you can use this with stone skin potions. No? Or the strong stone skin potion or whatever, the, the potions in general? Right, just have like a big bomb of armor and you just instantly gain the empowerment effects, right? Interesting. And you, you can just have like instantly, like this is uh, a little bit similar, um, a little bit similar to the Berserker Anvil build with um, Magic Torch and... Ah, this guy, Flock and Blade, right? Because the Anvil guarantees that you have an increase in damage because of the, uh, the star slots, right? That's kind of similar how you, you know, you already start with that increase in damage for your Falcon Blade and just hits a bunch of times for like 20 damage per, right? This is kind of similar because you can start the battle with like, I don't know, let's say you start the battle with like 200 block, right? What was that five? You start the battle with like five empowerment, which isn't a lot, right? But you could keep gaining the block throughout the battle. But starting the battle with five empowerment is actually pretty, you know, pretty solid for just one item. You know what I mean? That's, that's pretty solid. And not to mention, if you can stack these, bro, I got something in my eye. If you can stack these, that makes it just way better, right? You get like two of these, three of these, bro. You start the battle with 15 empowerment. Not to mention combining this with the great sword or even the freaking super sword on uh on Berserker. That's overpowered. You know what I mean? Like this one, you only need five. You start the battle off, boom. You got 200 block, five empowerment. This guy's empowered. You're just you're just destroying them at that point. You know what I mean? You're just wrecking them, bro. And there's probably other builds I'm not, I can't even think of. That's like a different way of using, you know, because the main reason people, well, not the main reason, but one of the main reasons people use a strong hero push is because of the empowerment that you gain, which can, you know, synchronize with the impractically large great sword with the empowerment, right? And, and the, the super sword, is, I don't, I think it's called, I forgot the name of that sword, but the berserker super sword, right? That's pretty interesting. I could definitely see a few builds with that alone, especially if you can, if you can stack these. I don't know if you can stack them, that's a thing. But if you can, I could definitely see that being insane. I could definitely see it being insane. Um, okay, I think that's all the all the I all the whoa all the items. By the way, I'm, I only have this on uh, universal items. So we're gonna check out the class items afterwards. Um, the next one that we have, let's say, is this guy, Prismatic Orb. Okay, start of the battle for each star magic item, gain two. Okay, I'm looking at star slots for each star magic item, gain two uh, mana. Uh, for each vampiric item, gain one vampiric. For each holy item, increases your healing by 5%. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Every dark item, inflict the random debuffs. Every seven seconds, gain one of every type of buff. Huh. I mean, it doesn't seem that overpowered. I'm gonna be honest. Like, the mana gain is minuscule, right? I mean, I guess it could be a good way of gaining, like, a I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's minuscule. I think it's minuscule. And the vampiric items is pretty minuscule. The holy items is pretty interesting to me, though. That's what's interesting to me for the increase in healing. That's what's interesting to me. Um, hmm. And then the dark item is it's one debuff. Like, it's not that crazy, right? And then every seven seconds, like, that's a pretty long cooldown. Every seven seconds. But it's like... You're gaining one buff every, like you're getting one of every type every second, seven seconds. Difference than the rainbow batch. The rainbow batch is after seven seconds, you gain one of every buff, which only happens one time. This one happens multiple times, and especially if you can speed it up. Pyromancer build. You know what I mean? Like, it can be kind of interesting. I can see, I think the star slots is meh, but the every seven seconds is what's got me. And the biggest star slot that kind of raises like a, ooh, that could be kind of cool is that holy item one of the increase in healing. Cause that could be like, well, you probably won't be able to fit that many holy items on every single star slot, right? So maybe it's like, I don't know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40% increase in healing. If you can get that many holy items on all those star slots, which I highly doubt you can, but still it could be kind of, it could be kind of interesting to be fair. All right, and the next one we have is this prismatic sword, which is the new weapon that they're adding. Oh wow! Look at look how you get the combination. It's a wooden sword. It's a wooden sword plus the prismatic orb. That is the easiest comp. I I, I don't know what I was expecting, 
but it's a wooden sword? A wooden sword. Oh my god, that has to be the easiest combination ever to get like a godly weapon, bro. It doesn't get any easier than that. Oh my gosh. Literally doesn't get any easier. I'm looking at all the other weapons now. It literally doesn't get any easier than that. I mean, I guess spear and holy crown. But like, how rare is this? This is, okay, this is a godly item in itself. So yeah, uh, uh, let's, let's look at it, let's look at it. Magic items, 10% attack speed. Attack speed. So does that only affect like magic? How much, what's your stamina points? Does this only affect magic weapons then? Cause it's saying attack speed, but there's items like this one. This is an item in the game that's a magic item, but it, it so it only increases weapons attack speed, right? Cause it says attack speed, but this, this is a magic item and it doesn't attack, right? So it does it not increase the speed of magic items. It only increases the speed of magic weapons, but then it says star magic item. So I'm a little confused. You know what I mean? Like, does this affect weapons or does it affect items? You know, you're like, ah, cause it says attack speed. I don't know, but um, yeah, star items, uh, magic items is a 10% attack speed, which is interesting. Uh, vampiric items is a 15% increase in lifesteal. Okay. Wait, no, I'm reading it wrong. I'm reading it wrong. I'm reading it wrong. The star items affect this weapon. I was reading it as if it was like the Falcon Blade, right? How the items, the star items, they trigger faster, right? But no, if you have a magic item in a star slot, the attack speed of the prismatic sword gains 10%, right? And if you have a vampiric item, 50% life steal. If you have a holy item, it gains 0.4 damage per hit. That's pretty, that's pretty nutty. <laughs> and if you have a dark item, there's a 10% chance to inflict random beat. Whoa. I mean, it's only a 10% though. It's only a 10%, but still interesting. So this is like a, what is this? This is awesome. Oh, wow. It's literally all, look at the things at the bottom. It's a magic item. It's a vampiric item. It's a holy item and it's a dark item. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. So is this one. This is also a magic vampire, a holy and a dark item. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. This is different. This is interesting. So the items, this is kind of like a vampiric sword in a way. So the items around it will affect this weapon. I wonder what's the best combination. Cause you get a lot of star slots, but like all of the holy vampiric magic items are kind of expensive. <laughs> They're kind of expensive, right? I guess what is blood amulet? Like what are you, how much gold? Nine gold? Is that like the cheapest one you can get? No. I don't know. I gotta do, well, maybe Corrupt the Crystal actually, because this is a dark item and it's seven gold. So maybe that's the cheapest one you could get. I wonder if, do these have, no, these are just, okay. I was wondering if the gemstones had like, uh, had the, what you call it. Interesting. It doesn't say anything about nature, unfortunately. So it's only magic, vampiric, and holy items. Hmm. I can see this, honestly, I can see this being combined with Magic Torch. Especially if you can get this early. Right, because, like, it's also 12 gold. Okay, it's also 12 gold. Especially if you get this early, because you start with the wooden sword, but that means you have to literally keep a wooden sword on you until you find this. Like, and the wooden sword sucks. Like, you can't keep the wooden sword past, like, round two or three, you know what I mean? At least the spear could be a little bit viable because, you know, but like, interesting. So yeah, I would say you'd have to rock this with magic torch and run your magic torch built with a wooden sword until you can find yourselves a primatic orb. And then you can get that 10% uh, increase for magic items, right? And then you just stack on the star slots on top of that over time. Maybe get you a goobert because the goobers count, right? Maybe a vampiric because this one doesn't, but maybe a vampiric goobert. You could do a King Goober, you know what I mean? Like, that's pretty interesting. I'm trying to find like the cheapest weapon or item that you can use on this thing that can count as like, you know, something. I don't know. Um, interesting though. Mighty interesting. I think it's pretty cool. I really wanted to, I want to try this with the holy item. 
Just because of the gaining of damage. But I mean, it's a it's like a basic stat, like 0.6 stamina, 1.6 cooldown. Like that's like your default stats for like a lot of weapons. I don't know how I would use this, but it'd be really interesting to try it out. What if you use double prismatic swords? Cause they, wouldn't you gain one buff of everything? Or does it only count as one? That would be interesting. Cause this weapon itself is like all of the little classes or whatnot. That'd be pretty interesting. Really cool item though. I love how it looks as well. It looks dope. It looks dope. It reminds me of the butterfly lady from Demon Slayer. Um, that's awesome. All right, next one up is Stone Golem. Sheesh, it's the heart container with four stones. Okay, what do you do to be so freaking awesome? Uh, oh, you actually do damage. Our first golem, it's kind of like uh, a dragon. It actually does damage. Wow, you turn a heart container to something that does damage. Okay. Okay. Um, A six second cooldown is insane though. Jesus, that thing is slow. I mean, it is a golem, but that thing is slow. Okay, on hit, you gain one empowerment. Just off the rip? Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. I read it all without saying it. Okay. On the hit, you gain one empowerment, and there's a 30% chance to stun, which <laughs> daggers. Okay. Instantly. No, no thought about it. Uh item that can stun and gains empowerment. Dagger build, bro. This is a dagger build dream right here. Right? Gaining empowerment for your daggers. On top of that, you can stun. I mean, it's every six seconds though. So it's like extremely slow, but still. And then deals plus seven minutes for each bag of stones. Whoa. So you're telling me I can increase the damage by 28? 28? Oh, I have to try this, I have to try this. But you need so many stones though. First of all, this uses up four. Each bag of stone uses two. You get four bag of stones. That's eight. That means you need, what, 12 stones? You need 12 stones for this thing, for it to be at its maximum capacity. And on top of that, it uses seven regeneration to reduce cooldown to three. Oh, okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Okay, so now you're hitting every three seconds instead. Okay, so you reduce your cooldown to three seconds. Um, and gain 150 block once. Wow. Okay, so you definitely need to regenerate. This is gonna be cool. This little guy is cool. And it's a pet item. Okay. Okay, every three seconds is more like it. Okay, every three seconds is more like it. That's interesting though. I guess you would rock this with like, bat, like four bag of stones filled with stones. Cause there's no point in having a bag of stones if you don't got stones in it. Right, so four bag of stones filled with stones. Probably got to rock double shovel until you get this guy because like how else are you going to get all those stones? Um, and then daggers for the, the chance of, of uh, stunning. You know what I mean? Maybe you just rock a dagger build. You your sure hammer a couple of daggers until you get this guy combined with the stones and everything. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's really cool. And then you just get... I, I'd probably just get your seven regeneration from the regeneration at the start of the game like you'll need like four of them right because they each give you two so interesting though this is really freaking cool this is really freaking cool unless unless you use this with a uh, ranger's uh class item that gives you regeneration for the uh the star slots right since you're gonna have bag of stones anyways and the stones are nature items you could use that to combine it with the i forgot yuga's leaf i think that's what it's called right star items and then you get the regeneration and use that instead of having to buy the regeneration i mean you can still buy the regeneration if you want to use it on a different class since this is a universal item but still this is really freaking cool i love this item actually it's like a i don't think it's overpowered i think it's a fun item i think that, that's why i love it i don't think it's overpowered at all right i think it's really cool i like the mechanics of it right and i think it can turn into some really cool builds to be honest Every three seconds, so you're going to need that. There's no point in using this if the cooldown is going to stay at six seconds. There's no point. Get the seven regeneration and get that cooldown to three seconds because that's when it can actually shine. That's when it can actually shine. And you got to use this with a dagger because how else are you going to utilize the stun? All right, you got to utilize the stun. This plus the hammer, double stun activity, right? Not to mention rocking this on a, on a berserker. Now you got three ways to stun. Like what? In the what? 
insane. I like it though. I fucked with this. I fucked with this guy. I don't think he's overpowered. I just think he's fun. He's like a fun item. Really fun item. I think what's overpowered is these guys. But yeah. Okay, and that's I think that's all the uh the new universal items, I'm pretty sure. It looks like it. So let's uh let's see. Is there any new berserker items? No, any new pyromancer items? No, any new reaper items? Yes! Toad. Star item games 10 buffs, heal for 10. Okay. Uh, star items use 10 buffs, gain one clover and one mana. And then every four seconds, you gain one clover and one mana. Interesting. The main reason why it's interesting is because, like, that one mana is nothing. <laughs> that one singular mana means nothing. The big thing here, I'd say, is that clover. Because the best way to use clovers on uh, on the Reaper is with Mrs. Fortune. Because then you can gain, you know, the three buffs, right? Um, yeah, so that's the best. How much do you cost, first off? Seven six okay it's actually not that expensive i mean it's not that overpowered either but it's not that expensive i think yeah interesting i could also see this being used with um the rapier because the rapier gains buffs and it also uses them so you get both whammies out of the rapier i don't think the 10 buffs uh you know uses insane you know because you only gain one clover using 10 buffs you gain one clover and one mana the big thing i'd say is that healing though just because of the 10 buffs gain, you heal for 10. Like, I think that's probably the biggest thing for me. Um, and then the, the gaining of Clover every four seconds is also kind of interesting if you want to use it with the Misfortune. I don't think it's super overpowered. But with that being said, you can get multiple Toads. And it's only six gold. Like, it's only six gold. You can get multiple Toads and you can stack this effect. You know what I mean? Which I think could get pretty interesting pretty fast, especially that 10 heal. I think that 10 heal is going to be the biggest thing, right? And especially if you combine this with the cauldron. Because the cauldron, you gain 6 mana or 5 heat. You know what I mean? Which is a decent number value of buffs. Which can directly go back into the toad to heal you for an additional 10. And you could probably use this with um, the unhealing staff. Right? Because that's another way of healing. 10 toad healing with toad healing with the unhealing staff and healing with the cauldron you know what i mean and you know this uses well actually no because you have to gain 10 buffs so yeah you can gain 10 buffs with the cauldron you can use those 10 buffs you can use that with the staff of unhealing and the cl I, you're not going to be able to like i guess you're not really going to use the clovers at all because <laughs> like there's no other way of using clovers on ranger i mean reaper other than misfortune realistically i guess for accuracy but i mean unhealing staff doesn't really matter when it comes to accuracy but yeah that's really interesting i like it i like how it's only six gold too if it was like seven eight or nine i'd be like Ugh. but six is not that overpowered right I, i'd say stacking this with rapier is probably the funnest way to use it in my opinion and uh cauldron properly or something but yeah it's pretty interesting i like it pretty interesting pretty interesting and is there any new ranger items I don't think so. Okay, I think that's all the items then in the uh, the new beta update. I think that is all the items. My, uh, these these guys, I gotta see. I have to see if you can stack these. I gotta see if you can stack those, man. I gotta see, and I also want to use a stone golem. I definitely want to use stone golem. Stone golem just seems really freaking cool. Honestly, can you just, oh, can you imagine stone golem combined with the amulet of steel? Because you gain 150, right? Which is what, 4, 8, 120? So you're gaining 3 empowerment at the start of battle. Actually, no, because this gains you. Well, actually, I wonder if that 20 armor counts towards that 40 number. I actually don't know. But this gains you the armor. You start with 3 empowerment at the start of the battle. And you have stones and daggers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to use that combo. I got to use that. Okay. I got to use that combo. But I, oh, and if you use this with a shield, okay, sorry, sorry, talking too much. You have more than one of these. Okay, and, and anyways, I, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. Hopefully you guys are excited for the new update just as much as I am. And um, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let me know in the comments what your favorite item is. 
and what you uh what you're gonna rock what bills are you guys gonna rock I, i'm interested because i'm a steel and i appreciate you guys watching i see you guys next time oh yeah and they got a goober plushy thing here but yeah peace everyone